Mr. West, why are you here? Because I think she's cheating. I got, you know, thinking she's doing oral sex on other men and everything. Boy, bye. Like, okay, whatever. I think judge, it, I think judge. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to get to you. I, I promise. Do your honor, like... He's always thinking I'm cheating. Like, it's so bad, it doesn't make no sense. I can't even go to the bathroom by myself. Like, he's always on my phone. He always goes to my text messages. When he sleeps, he tells me that once he goes to bed, that I have people come through my back door. Like, this is getting really ridiculous. Like, in, in the beginning, it was great. I even looked I over still love her all the things heart. that was said about him. Like, she can't leave her past behind, you know? And it just kills me okay, deep down in my soul. Okay, you lying, just whatever. You know, I mean, every every story she tells, it's got to be, oh, I, I was with this man. Okay, well, that, when, that, that, that's was, not my fault. If he doesn't have story, anything good you know? to talk about his past. Oh, his girlfriends has cheated on him. She said, well, hurry up, I got to go, because uh, the store's closed and this, that, and the other. Well, little did she know, I had my phone on me, so I put it on record and put it up under the seat. So when I put it up under the seat and I got it back and I, I was listening to it, I'm like, if that is not what I think it is, then that, I am definitely delusional. What do you think it is that you recorded? Oral sex, Your Honor. Okay. okay. This is where he's he about to see as soon as the, the test results come back because this is the way I see it, okay? My game is better than propane. If I was giving a man, if I was giving a man oral sex, I ain't nobody, he ain't gonna be quiet. What man's gonna be quiet if you give him oral sex? You ain't. Maybe because it, Are you? it happens now, so often no, that he's no. used to okay, it Okay, whatever. Now. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever, whatever. Okay, uh, Ralph, whatever. Yeah. Boy, no. bye, whatever. And if you find out she's cheating, the relationship is over. It uh, definitely is. I went undercover as a litigant coming to the court myself because I was accused of being a cheater on my boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> did Ms. Belcher reveal anything during this conversation? She did, Your Honor. My boyfriend thinks I'm cheating. I have not slept with anyone. We've been into four I finally did. You what? And I told him. You what? Cheated. You did? Yeah. That Mr. Was, Belcher, Mr. West, did Ms. you know Belcher, that? Did you admit to cheating? No. Okay. After like him accusing me so much and so much and so much, yeah, he knows about that. That was that only what one time. But there is something there regards to their relationship and cheating. You're lying. <laughs> Are you sure about that? We'd like to call licensed and certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams. Ron, would you please escort him man? I'm going to pass this test. All right. Well, I'm being serious. She's wrong. Ms. Belcher was asked, since August 2017, have you had sexual intercourse with any man other than Mr. West? Her response was no. Lie detector determined she was being deceptive. No, I... Ralph, they're lying. That is not true, and you know it. You know it's not true. No. I knew better. Don't touch me. Don't say nothing to me! So, we broke up last night because Matthew's a really big a-hole. It's just not good for me or the baby. And we just decided to break up because that was the best thing to do. Matthew's just really mentally abusive. He's been like this small pregnancy. He's just like, you're a fat lard. You put me down and you called me ugly and you called no, me fat. No, I don't. Put it on the baby. I called you ugly. When's one time I've called you ugly? Put it on the baby. He's just always called me ugly. Put it on the baby. And he put told me my something. body's not good anymore. Why? Say it, put it on the baby. And put it on the baby. He just never gives me head anymore. See this little double chin I'm getting? Yeah, he doesn't like me anymore because of that. I guess I'm just not a pretty person anymore since I got pregnant. And I'll find someone who loves my body and not call me fat. We're not, we're not really breaking up. She's lying to y'all. She's fucking lying. Game over. Show's over. <laughs> Come back next We're time. never breaking up. Oh. This video was really hard for me to make. This just seems like karma for real. But Matthew left two weeks after she was born. Um, we would be good and that we were not breaking up and he promised me that we were not breaking up. And then found, he broke up with me the next morning, which was Easter. And um, You all have been together for five years and engaged for four years. 
Yeah. Why have you brought your fiance to court today? Because I feel that he's cheating on me. He's extra friendly with people in the neighborhood. He just goes out of his way to help them do stuff. Just goes out of his way to help them. I feel like it's all a cover up for what she's doing, so. Yeah, but it ain't about me. Well, Mr. Willett, are you a friendly person? Of course, I'm always friendly. Do you go out of your way to help your neighbors? Of course I do. I, every day, I try to make everybody happy. Especially her. What was the first sign that something went wrong? Probably about three months ago. There's a female coworker. I'll text him. I don't get a text back. It's just if it's a male coworker, he'll text right back all night, back and forth. If it's a female, I barely get texted all night That's while he's so working. I'm always working. Okay, so... What can I do at work? <laughs> what else do you have? Do you got proof? There will be money missing out of our joint bank account. Just like five or ten dollars here or there. Where do you think he's taking a woman? For five and ten dollars. <laughs> I, 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 don't know. Know. <laughs> I don't think necessarily taking them out, maybe letting them borrow money or, you know, grabbing them a drink or something. That's our money. I'm thinking, you know, she's kind of extra close with my roommate. Like, and... Now we need the roommate side. Rob, would you escort her into the courtroom? Yes, yeah. Would you please state your name for the court? Stacey Herrera. How long have you all been living together? Uh, between four to five months. All right. And there's a total of three of us living there, along with my two kids. Do you believe he's cheating? Uh, there's points I do. Five-year relationship and no trust. Four years of engagement and no trust. All right. Court has ordered a forensic analysis on both of your cell phones. At this time, the court will call cybersecurity expert Mr. Gregory Evans. What did you find? Is this message here from Ms. John. It says, I just want to be able to make you happy as your girlfriend, your wife, your best friend, and especially make you happy and satisfy you in the bedroom. How does that make you feel? Great. That's what I need. That's what I want. After all that we've discussed today, what do you want to say to your boyfriend or your fiance? That I want to start, I want him to start being more honest and I want to work things out and you know, do whatever we have to do to move forward in our relationship. What do you need him to do? I need him to come clean and let me know everything that he's done. Well, I have a question for you. Have you been in a sexual relationship with her and Ms. Herrera? I, her and I have messed around, yeah. <laughs> but it hasn't been a relationship. But it's yeah, that, proves, that proves everything right there. Have you been together more than once? I've been more than once, but... Less than five. Right. Less, I was gonna say two. Five, yeah. When was the last time you all were together? Been about a month. One day they were, they went out to get milk. Eleven hours later they come back. So you they think, had to go to wait. Jacksonville to go feed their mom's cat. <laughs> This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. You all have been together for two years. In fact, today is your two-year anniversary. Oh. All right, Ms. Rankin, why are you here? I'm here to defend myself, to claim my innocence. He knows I'm not cheating. He's being ridiculous. This is our two-year anniversary, and I'm here in court when I should be getting flowers and chocolate. Oh. <laughs> uh, her phone was dead, and she needed a charger. She told me to go look through her purse. So I went to go look for the charger in her purse, and I found three Magnum condoms. Oh. And... Where she hides her, uh, where she hides her cards. And I took, I said, what are these? Where did these come from? And she got these from the doctor. And I said, you know, the doctor doesn't give away Magnum condoms, I'm pretty sure. Do you use Magnums? Uh, no. At the doctor, I grabbed a handful of condoms for us. It was very innocent. I think he's just not appreciating me enough. He's a <laughs> leprechaun and I'm his pot of gold. He looks like a kneecap with hair. Yo. He's not going... <laughs> to be getting other girls. I'm not worried. Uh, you say he's not going to get any other girls. He got you? I'm the best that he's ever got. So what kind of doctor's office is giving out Magnum condoms? Uh, this was a very fancy doctor's office. No doubt. Really, yeah. <laughs> and because of that, he believes she's cheating, and if she's cheating, he's done. Yeah, I'm out. Is there anything you need to tell him? Because we're going to get the results. Mm -hmm. And these results don't lie. No, but I have nothing you... to say. The results don't lie, but the question is, do you? Hmm. We'll find no. out. Oh. All right, Mr. Wolf. No, you won't find out. <laughs> the day your boyfriend, Matthew, found condoms in your purse, did you buy those condoms to have sexual intercourse with another man? No. The forensic voice analysis determined that she was being deceptive, Your Honor. I, no, 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 no. I don't believe that. Um, I'm done with this relationship.